Hello everybody and welcome back to another GTA 5 LSPDFR tutorial. Today we're going to be teaching you how to update your LSPDFR, Rage Plugin Hook, all that good stuff. Since Rockstar came out with a new GTA 5 update, it's messed everything up. And I know some of you guys are still having problems. So I'm going to walk you through the steps on getting your game up to date and all the files that you need for everything to work properly. So what we're going to do is you're going to start off by going and updating your Grand Theft Auto 5. Make sure your Grand Theft Auto 5 is to the most updated version of gta 5 so how i do that is i go to steam library go to grand theft auto 5 right click manage and what we are going to do actually we're going to go to properties and we are going to go to installed files and go to verify integrity of game files so you want to make sure that you click this and verify their integrity of your game files my files are good but this right here is just going to make sure that all your files are updated and you are not messing with any outdated gta 5 files so make sure you guys go ahead and do that click that verify integrity of the game files and let that update if you haven't already and for those of you that have we're going to go ahead and move forward so when you guys actually do that verify the integrity of your game files it's going to take a minute it's not it's not short so uh just click pause on the video and just skip to the next uh step of this tutorial so what you guys want to do for those of you that are done verifying the integrity of your game files and updating your gta 5 you're going to want to go to this page i'm going to leave a link to everything that we're downloading here so you guys can go ahead and just click down below in the description and you'll be able to download it so what you guys want to do is go in here and you want to click download lspfr 0.4.9 for the new build so what we're going to do is go down here and go ahead and click download this file Click download this file. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom. I'm going to click agree and download and we are going to go with setup. I like using setup. Setup comes with everything that you need and makes it easy for you. So just click download and we're going to let that go ahead and go through. Sometimes your PC will see it as a virus or something like that, um, which this one's going to open up right here with no problem. But if it does, it should give you three dots up here, more options and you can download anyways. Uh, so we're going to click open file on this. We're going to click yes and we're going to go ahead and let that set up right there so it's unpacking data we're going to click ok we're going to click next we're going to go ahead and click i agree and we're going to go ahead and click next so make sure that this file right here is going to be in your gta 5 main directory to find your gta 5 main directory if you have it through steam go steam library grant the file 5 right click go to manage and browse local files what that's going to do is pull up your GTA 5 main directory. And what you need to do is pay attention to your main root right here. So this is where your Grand Theft Auto 5 file or LSPDFR file needs to go for your GTA 5 main directory. So that's where it needs to go into. So what you guys are going to do is if that is not correct, if you guys are not seeing it, which mine is, you can see program files, 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Grand Theft Auto 5. If it's not working for you, all you have to do is click browse and just go through the steps here. So uh, Windows C, so we're on Windows C, and then you're going to go program files right here. Um, and again, follow your own route. Don't follow my route. Yours could be in a whole different location. So program files x86, and then we're going to go Steam, and then we're going to go ahead and go to Steam apps. We're going to go to common, and we're going to go to Grand Theft Auto 5 right there. We're going to click OK, and we're going to click install just like so so just make sure that's going in the correct folder we're going to click finish and there we go so we're going to pop this up and you're going to see that this comes up you'll see it down here on down on the uh, taskbar so if you guys see that just click on it if it does pop up for you either way as long as you are on this and you see this where it says welcome to the lspdfr configurator go ahead and click next right here i'll enlarge it so you guys can see it we're going to hit show license and let that pop up. This is going to pop up our Rage Plugin Hook. Rage Plugin Hook does come with the LSPDFR download, so you don't have to go anywhere else to get it. It actually comes with the files. So we're going to click Accept, and we are going to click Do It For Me. So this says Change Settings. We recommend disabling the version text rendering and setting all plugins to load on load at startup. I don't do that, but I'm going to do it for me, just like so. And LSPFR has been installed successfully. So that's the newest version of LSPFR for the newest update for GTA 5. So you guys have that in there. So there's a couple more things that we're going to go through. So since we're already on LSPFR's page, I'm going to go to downloads. We're going to go to essential mods. And we're going to go to emergency lighting system. Let's go ahead and click on that. And this is going to be for your ELS. So your ELS will work. And you'll see right here it says, please download advanced hook V. 
So I'm going to click download this file, click agree and download. And what we're going to do is download advanced hook V. We're going to click download on that. We're going to make sure our GTA 5 main directory is up because that's where we're going to be putting that. And we have that downloaded. I'm going to go in and click open file. And we're going to take this file right here. This file right here, drag and drop into our GTA 5 main directory. It's going to ask me to replace in destination since I already have it. If it does not ask you guys, just make sure that goes in there. You'll see up here at the top. So, and you may not see two files right there. It's going to give you an extra file once you actually open the game up. So you probably won't see this file, but you just put this file in. And that's all that matters. All right. So now that we got that in there, what we're going to do is go ahead and go to our web browser. Uh, again, I'll have all this linked down in the description for you guys. So all you have to do is click on it. You're going to go download script hook v so we have the newest version of script hook v and what we're going to do is going to click download right here click open file we're going to go to bin and we're going to take these three files right here go over to our gta 5 main directory take these three files right here drag and drop just like this please files in destination and there you guys go so now what you want to do for those of you that have like add-on vehicles and stuff like that uh, you're going to want game config okay so make sure you guys go over here download game config so it's compatible with your game so click download on game config again it is linked down in the description for you and what we're going to do is click download one more time and let that open up right there and what you guys want to do is pull up open for so open iv so i'm going to go ahead and open that up we're going to go to grand theft auto 5 hit windows and if you guys don't have open four, you don't have add on vehicles then this shouldn't affect you. Uh, but for those of you that do, you are going to want to do this. Uh, so edit mode, we're going to go to mods, update, let me enlarge this for you guys. Again, we'll go back to the main page, mods, update, update.rpf, common, data, and you're going to see game config in here. So let's go and find it real fast. Where are you at? All right, so we found it right here. So that is going to be your game config. What you guys want to do is go ahead and go through here. So you have old versions. You have GTA 5 config. That's the one that you want. And um, I mean, I go for more mods, stock traffic, and game config right here. And I'm going to drop that in there. So we are good to go. So we just grab that. So now the main thing that you guys want to do is go ahead and go to your GTA 5 main directory. Go ahead and scroll down. Click Rage Plugin Hook, double click it. It's gonna pop up for you. So once this opens up, we're gonna go in here. I'm gonna go to plugins. Don't load any plugins on startup. I never like loading plugins on startup, and the reason for that is any plugin has a, just a minor glitch. It could crash your game and make it where you're not getting in there. So don't load any plugins on startup. Okay. Um, I don't mess with any of this and we're going to go to game settings. So make sure you guys back up your current version. So you'll see in here that I already have mine backed up. So make sure you guys back yours up. So you should see something in there. Just like you should see exactly what you see in mine, except this one right here that says not supported, but this one right here, three, two, five, eight, you should see that right there. If you do not see that right there where it says active, go ahead and click backup current version. Okay. So all that is installed. We're going to hit save and launch. Click. Okay and we're gonna go ahead and let that go through and there we go we are getting inside the game so your els is going to work and you have your lspfr updated rage plugin hook and you also have script hook v updated and the game config so you guys are good to go you see the game is opening up i'll let it go ahead and get inside the game so you guys can see that and uh you are good to go if you guys are having any problems with rage plugin hook where you click it double click it and it opens up for a second and shuts down i just did a tutorial on that to show you guys how to uh fix that um for now it's not doing it to me anymore um uh, but again if you guys are having that problem there is a tutorial on my channel to show you how to fix the rage plugin hook problem so as you guys see we are getting in the game everything is loading up we're not getting no messages uh nothing like that and we are able to load up uh ls of art and all that good stuff so i'm just gonna load inside the game and we'll go over here story mode with rage plugin hook i'm gonna load inside the game let you guys see that everything turns on everything's working ls of art loads up all the plugins load up and there is no problem so let's go ahead and jump over to that all right so now that we're inside gta 5 let's just run out as michael and hit f4 reload all plugins hit enter 
And this is how I always load up my LSPDFR. This is the best way. I don't have anything to worry about. Everything loads up perfectly for me. And I can at least get inside the game and watch it load up. If there is anything that has a problem, I can at least kind of see what's uh, loading at the time. Uh, but we got everything going in. And there that goes right there. We're going to go ahead and type in Force Duty. Just like so. And now we are a law enforcement officer with inside GTA 5. Hit F4. We're going to hit F11. We're going to pull up our wardrobe. Now, with the uh, with that LSP Depart just installing it, you guys may have to fix your uh, your texture problem that LSP Depart has. I have a tutorial for it. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and go vehicle spotting. Let's go emergency. And let's just click a cruiser. Let me back up a little bit. And... Our lights are working, so you guys are good to go. You are good to go. Thank you all for coming by and watching. Hopefully, this helped you guys out. If you are new to the channel, definitely do me that one favor. Hit that subscribe button. And then, if this helped you out, which I know it did, smash that like button. Really, really smash that like button. Help me out just like I helped you out. We'll see you all in the next one. Stay blessed. Stay safe out there. Peace.